and girls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Hannah, and as you can see from the title, the tech is there. What? <laughs> As you can see from the title, today's video is another exciting one. I'm so happy to get this in the post. I am just absolutely in love with it. This is so, such a Hannah collection. Um, so I'll be testing, reviewing and doing a demo on the new ABH Holiday Collection 2019, including the Kylie Bible palette. So if you wanna see what my thoughts are on the palette, on the goodies, on the highlighters, all of that stuff then please keep on watching so i was kindly gifted the holiday collection by abh i am luckily on their pr list none of these videos that i do of abh are sponsored in any way shape or form this is just my personal opinion i just get this in pr and then i just do a crazy look for you guys or whatnot just to see to show you guys whether you want to buy it or not but yeah um actually onto the holiday collection by Anastasia Beverly Hills and um, there are a few things in the collection there is an eyeshadow palette loose highlighters loose glitters and a lip kit set going straight into the eyeshadow palette the PR kit is absolutely stunning thank you thank you so much ABH this is what the PR kit looks like it just has the Kylie Bible palette and inside comes out this beauty right here which is the obviously the palette by herself now i am so in love with this palette now you guys if you don't know me already i'm very much into color and like all of that jazz but something about this palette screams everything that i love like i look at myself and go if i'm just an everyday person this is the eyeshadow palette that i would go for i think i honestly would probably wear this in the day i get married i don't know this just screams wedding bells this just screams holiday season this just screams i didn't really watch kylie by Bell. i have years ago um not that i ever went off of her or anything like that just i got i just i found myself not really reaching towards youtube anymore so like i still watch her videos every now and then but yeah congratulations sweetheart she's obviously not watching this um but yeah um i'm actually in love with this palette i think me personally just looking at it this is a palette that can be for a lot of people and i love that sometimes you'll find that some shadows can't work for people or some colors don't work for people i think this is like a weird but funky selection that is so soft and gentle but beautiful and elegant at the same time i really really love the array of color i think the color selection is actually perfect um which is something i wouldn't normally say like these are different colors especially i would wear these probably on my wedding day like i've already said i just i'm in love with the palette to be completely honest I just i'm looking at it right now and i'm going this is actually stunning like i'm not going to do swatches for you guys because <clears throat> it's just not my thing i just prefer quality on the eye rather than on the hand but actually i've already primed my, i can't talk today i've already primed my eyes using the be perfect cosmetics priming base if i can find it i don't know how much this palette retails for i think in the uk it's 46 pounds which obviously is your standard around that price point for abh palettes other than the Norvina collection. Um, but yeah, so going actually into this palette, I'm gonna zoom you in with you guys and we shall get, we, what? We can get into it. Okay, so grabbing the Kylie Bybel palette, I'm gonna take the first shade, which is Chai, and just start to blend that from the outer corner inwards. I don't wanna pack on too much product in the inner corner of my eye, but more wing it out. Then I'm gonna grab the shade Steve, and this shade is actually really nice. However, it comes across not as pigmented. Maybe I used a different or wrong brush, but I'm just packing that on on the outer corner again and doing the same thing. Um, I'm just blending those two shades together. Now taking the same Steve color, I'm just bringing that underneath the lower lash line with an ABH brush. Then I'm going in with the mixture of the shades Aura and Moo together. Like these are stunning, but they do have a different type of pay color payoff. Then I'm taking the loose glitter in Jolly and packing that into the inner corner. Like this is really, really cute. And the adhesive is like so good. And that is the finished look. Okay, so the eyes are done. I have some opinions on the palette, which I will go through with you now. Um, I really do like the colours. However, I'm a little bit disappointed in the formula. Um, it's very like, um, I have a huge dent in the shade chai or chai or chai i have a huge dent in the shade chai which is the first day that i went in with i literally went out in with that maximum about three times for both eyes not each but for all together and there is a huge dent same with the shade cindy i tried to use cindy but it was so powdery i didn't want to i just thought oh no um the shade steve i think it's steve or stev um 
it's not the right shade it's more of a a purpley brown I, I i i like that it's a sort of burgundy whatnot i'd like to see what it'd be like with like a if i pop it on pack it on rather than just slightly blend because i wanted a more softer look but um it's not picking up as well on camera for some reason like in person it does look a little bit more like i wanted to do something a bit more subtle but i really do like it the shimmers i am a little bit disappointed with um like there are huge dents in the shade Moo and Aura. Like these two shades. Oh, let me open it for you. This shade right here and this shade right here. I'm very, very disappointed with. Um, I don't know if you guys weren't even able to see, but there are huge dents as as well in those shades. Um, I had to literally, I used four different eyeshadow brushes, like packing brushes to try and put this eyeshadow on because it's a shimmer. I spritzed my bottle. I tried God knows how long. I even scraped a little bit off of the top just to see if it was just because it was the top layer and then get more into it. That did work slightly, but I just not getting the huge wow factor from it. Even if I thought to myself, maybe if I cut the crease, it would do that. I didn't cut the crease, but I still think that it wouldn't perform how I would expect it or I would have hoped for £46. Um, but overall, it's an okay palette. It does remind me slightly of the subculture in terms of how powdery it is like you know how sometimes you can look at something and think the kickback is because it's pigmented however for some reason for this like chai even though it's more of like a transitional brown it is very like the pigment isn't as there as i would like it to be but overall i do like it i will obviously be playing with it more i think definitely the whole how bright it looks here isn't how it transforms on the eye which is okay um i definitely feel this is more of a subtle eyeshadow look if i didn't add the glitter in the inner corner this would be very neutral very subtle which i like because if you want that from a palette and you don't like the really overbearing looks then this is great for you but if you are more into that instagram makeup where you want very powerful maybe you're just gonna have to literally keep packing to get that so i think more detailed brushes and more flat thicker brushes more denser brushes for packing will be great more fluffier brushes you're going to get more of a subtle look from so yeah um what i recommend i think from what i've already told you you guys can make up your own opinion i do like it i love the packaging and all of that i am happy with the look don't get me wrong i'm really really happy with it but it, it i did have a few expectations that wasn't met to highlighter we have this cute we have this really cute and beautiful set right here um let me see if i have the information on this it comes in three shades right here i think these are minis of the original three um that you have so you have snowflake which is a really popular one the biggest one that i know of is the so hollywood one i absolutely love this and we also have the sunset aura for more deeper skin tones these are really really cute i don't know how much they're going to retail for which is a shame because i wish they put the prices on them but you can obviously get this in a little kit i think this would be great if you don't want to get the larger sizes they do come with if i can see the amount of product um they do come with four grams of product compared to their usual bigger size highlighter which comes with six grams so it isn't really too big it's like obviously yeah one and a half but i think to be honest like this is like i don't know how much it is i hope it's not extremely expensive like sometimes compare it to what their usual sizes are um but yeah i right? like it's cute if you want to buy it go ahead um i am just going to use my my fuller size because i'm obviously going to give these away to family for like christmas and birthday and things like that so i'm really really excited for this i do really really like the trio i think it's a great idea so we are going to go in with the shade so hollywood on the skin take my anastasia beverly hills a23 brush i love this i'm just going to spritz it with my usual just like any old setting spray or like um hydrating spray i use this a lot but yeah i really do like this it does slightly come off a little bit powdery so i have to just tap it under the skin and sort of like mix it up into a normal powder form before we then put it on the skin this is really stunning i do really really love this Oh, I'm going to talk about the glitters in a moment. Um, I have not used the glitter adhesive before, and this was the first time that I'd used it, and I am very much impressed. It's something I definitely think, if you're looking for an adhesive, it's one of those that doesn't, like, separate your eyeshadow. It does separate your concealer. I did put it on my... I did by accidentally put it on my under eye, and it did separate my concealer, but I'm guessing that's not really a huge deal. Um... But I did go in with this cute little mini 
loose glitter set which comes with five glitters and an adhesive i think this is another great idea to be honest glitter can be a little bit i don't know i did use the shade jolly on my inner corners it does have this like sort of orangey christmas vibe to it i really really do like it um i don't know how much it is going to be i know these normally retail for 15 pound each the glitters which is a lot of money but yeah the glitter adhesive it comes with nine milliliters i think not sure. So he does come with a glitter adhesive, which is very, very handy for you guys that are wanting that. Um, but yeah, so we have this glitter, little glitter set right here. I really do like this. I think this is very shouting Christmas vibes, which is great. Um, would I recommend? To be honest, glitter is one of those things. It depends on the person. If you're into glitter, then obviously if a lot of times on Instagram, you have the indie brands that give you glitter for like one pound, two pound. So obviously, I'm going to be completely honest. You can probably find glitters in another place. But if you want to buy as a treat for like a stocking filler or as a birthday present or a Christmas present before Christmas, then this is a great alternative. If you want to just give someone a little bit more of a luxurious gift, then yeah. But um, to be honest, they're just glitters. They perform well. They really stick down. It's the, it's the glitter adhesive that I'm most impressed with. Now, lastly, we have this amazing lip kit set, which I'm so, so excited for. This is called the Undress Lip Set. So they're all new, all nude. Five stunning ways to get undressed with three mattes, one metallic and one gloss shade. So I'm going to be obviously going in with these. These look amazing. I absolutely love the thought of these. This is something I would probably, out of everything other than the eyeshadow palette, if you want like an actual, like my favourite thing of the holiday collection, meaning the glitters, the highlighter and the lips, I'd probably go for the lips. And I think this is going to be the most popular so i'm guessing you probably want to get it while you can because i think they're all new shades that you can't normally get usually i am thinking about going in with this shade right here which is the shade peachy okay so i have lined my lips um just with any old lip liner to go with the liquid lipstick i'm going to use the shade peachy um which i'm hoping will go and then we're going to go on top with the gloss just because I am really into like a glossy moment. I really hope these are slightly like different in formula though. I'm just going to be completely honest. Just because sometimes with ABH liquid lipsticks, they can be a bit drying and like start to crinkle my lips and go all crusty, crusty, dusty. So yeah, I'm just going to start to apply this. gonna take this lip gloss in summer vibes which i am just all for all for we're really gonna take this on the lips okay i love it like i actually am in love like i'm actually in love Very big fan of the lip gloss. I do think the shade Peachy is a little bit too like fair for me. Maybe I should have gone with a little bit of a deeper lip liner, but that's absolutely fine. Um, my verdict on this lip kit set is I just generally think this is like one of the best lip kit sets that I have ABH have ever come out with. I really want Anastasia to come out with some lip liners now. Like they've done so many lipsticks, so many liquid lipsticks, so many lip glosses, metallic shades they need. A lip liner set like they really do unless they do already have them and i don't have them but they need a lip liner set like i just can't i can't wait for the formula i really do hope but yeah this is something i think i have all of them i would definitely recommend you grabbing like this is bomb love it um but yeah, I have got a full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills other than concealer. So if you want to see that, of course, it's on my Instagram. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed this video filming it for you guys. I will say, as I'm looking at the collection now, like I get the whole snowflake vibe and whatnot. But this is slightly giving me more Barbie spring vibes rather than Christmas holiday. But I still really like it anyway. Like it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to scream red and green and but i love it i think it's very very different i am loving the look like i think i've got as i've got a full face of abh on i'm really impressed like really impressed i feel luxurious i feel really just i feel good and i feel i like look good but um yeah i really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did it please give it a massive thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comments what you're getting if you're interested in this what you don't like about it what you like about it i'd love to hear your ideas thank you thank you so much for watching if you've gotten this far i actually love you like i love you anyway but i love you now even more what and i shall see you in my next video bye